Hi, my name's Fred. I'm with USA Measurements in Las Vegas, Nevada. And today, I wanna to give you seven tips to make sure you buy the right scale. These seven tips are the biggest mistakes that I've seen customers make over the years with my experience. So this video is to help you save time and money to make sure that you get the right scale and you don't run into any of these issues. So let's go through them. So number one, this is the biggest one that I see a lot of companies make is they purchase an industrial floor scale and they leave it outdoors. So your standard floor scale is not waterproof. And if you plan to leave it outdoors, what you want to do is either upgrade your four load cell sensors to be completely waterproof and make sure that that junction box is an IP68 so that it can take that kind of industrial rain and from being outdoors. So that's the biggest mistake that I see a lot of customers make right off the bat is that they'll purchase a brand new scale, they'll leave it outside of their warehouse, and then it rains. And what will happen is water will get into the circuit board causing you uh, issues with the scale weighing accurately. So in order to avoid this from happening, make sure you either keep your scale indoors or you upgrade your scale to be completely waterproof. Number two is purchasing the right scale for your application. And so what do I mean by that? you have two types of scales. You have what's called a non-certified scale with no regulation. And then we have scales that have a regulation called NTEP. It stands for the National Type Evaluation Program. If you're in a business and you're buying or selling based on weight, you want to buy a scale that's NTEP approved so that it conforms to the weights and measures uh, regulations. So what does that mean? If you're in a business such as recycling and you're going to be selling or buying copper based on weight and you're going to be using your scale, you're going to want to make sure that you buy an NTEP approved scale. If you don't buy the right scale, what could happen is you can get audited by weights and measures and they'll red tag your scale. That means you'll no longer be able to use that scale you purchase and they're going to require that you buy an NTEP approved scale. So how do you know you're going to get this type of scale? Well, normally in the listing, on the website, or you can ask the seller if it has the certificate of conformance. The certificate of conformance will tell you if the scale is certified or not. You can go to the NTEP website and check that certificate of conformance to make sure that it is on Weights and Measures website. So make sure that if you're going to be buying or selling based on weight that you buy an NTEP approved scale because that's the second biggest mistake that I see customers make all the time. Number three is cable management. I can't tell you countless times where I've had customers call and they've either misplaced the power adapter or the interface cable that connects from the display to the scale base has broken. So, you know, really there isn't too many things that I can suggest to avoid this situation, but what I can tell you is this, is having backup parts will save you time and money. If you have a spare power adapter from our company on hand, if that ever goes missing, then you can just use that to replace the missing power adapter. Same goes with your interface cable. Countless times a forklift will bump the scale and the interface cable will break. Someone will trip over that interface cable and it will break. So the best thing to do in those situations is have a spare one on hand. So in case that happens, it will minimize your downtime and you can get your scale back up and running. That's cable management. Number four is knowing how to calibrate your indicator. This will save you time and money. That's the whole purpose of this video is to make sure that if you run into issues that you're going to be able to save yourself time and money. So why do you want to know how to calibrate your scale? Let's just give you a scenario that's happened many times to customers. A forklift runs into the scale and throws the scale out of calibration. So now you need to either call a company or call us to come out and, and service your scale and calibrate it. Well, you know, the availability. They may not be able to get out there till tomorrow, but you have a bunch of shipments that need to go out. So what we've done is we put the resources online for free. It's a two minute video that takes you through the steps on how to calibrate. This will save you a lot of time, a lot of money, and we make it as simple as possible. Knowing how to calibrate your instrument will save you money. That's number four. Number five is having a backup scale. Most people will only purchase one scale and they rely on that scale 100%. Let's just use that example of a recycling company. The only way that they can do business, unless they want to eye it out, they're not going to be as accurate and they're not going to make as much money, right? So let's think about this. 
if their scale goes down, their business is basically on hold until they get that scale back up and running. If you're one of those businesses that have to rely on your scale to get the job done, then you need to buy a backup scale. That is the most important thing that you can take away from this segment. If you rely on your scale, make sure that you have a backup scale. No telling what could happen because if that scale goes down, you need to get another one and as quick as possible. So having an extra one on hand, if anything were to happen, will save you a lot of time and money. Number six is talking to a sales rep or texting them, emailing them, chatting with someone on their website. I think it's really important that before you buy a scale that you talk to somebody to make sure you're getting the right scale for your application. This video is supposed to help do that, but sometimes just calling someone and speaking with them over the phone for a few minutes and explaining your application just to make sure you're getting the right scale can avoid 100% of these problems. I know a lot of people these days, they don't want to jump on the phone and talk to somebody, and we see countless times customers get the wrong scales ordering it themselves. So the video here is to try to help customers that don't want to reach out to people to be able to watch these seven steps to make sure you do not fall into this situation. So really, you know, just jumping on the phone or chatting or emailing with someone can really save you time and money. I know I keep saying that, but that's the whole purpose of this is to try to avoid issues for most of the people out there that want to scale. Because a scale is simple, it does the job of just weighing a device, but after I've gone through these things in the video, you can see where many other people have run into issues. So again, if you're unsure of what type of scale you need or you have questions, just call or reach out to someone to make sure that we can get you the right scale. That's the whole point of number six. Finally, number seven, this is the last one and I think it's really important that a lot of people know this about buying a scale. Most people will buy scales without knowing who the company is. And the problem with that is some of these companies aren't scale companies. They're just companies that buy scales and then they sell them and then they stop selling them. Then they can't get parts, they can't get service, they can't get warranty help. This happens a lot. We get a lot of companies reaching out to us looking for support and service on products that we've never seen. There's no manuals online, there's no resources, there's no parts. So in order to make sure that you don't run into this situation, buy from a scale company. A scale company that's going to have parts, that's going to have warranty, that's going to be able to service it, and anything else that you would need help with. It's really important because the last thing you want to do is buy an inexpensive scale, throw it away, and have to buy another one and keep this process going over. You're much better off spending a little bit more money getting a better quality scale. If any issues come up in the future, you can get the parts, you can get the service, you can get the warranty, and get the help that you deserve for the money that you spent. So that's my biggest recommendation is to make sure you buy from a company that's a scale company to get parts. It's important. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video with me and go through the seven biggest mistakes that I see companies and people make all the time. If you got this far in the video, I have a free gift for you. If you purchase one of our brand new floor scales, I will include an extra power adapter, an extra home run cable, and a free load cell. In case you ever run into issues in the future, you'll have these free parts that are included with your scale. Just reach out and mention that you watched this video and that you watched Fred explain the seven biggest mistakes that companies make when purchasing a scale online. Thanks for watching, guys.